Hi everyone, welcome to Suresh Techs. If you are visiting our channel for the first time or if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe Suresh Techs. So in our previous tutorial, we had seen about styling attributes. So there are a lot of styling attributes available. So if you want to provide some basic styling to your application, so we could use all those styles available. Now, and today we will see text formatting. So there are some special elements which doesn't require a styling property. That means those elements will be styled already for us. For example, for example, let me create a new page. I'll say doc type. So this is doc type and then followed by html followed by html okay i'm just saving this as text formatting dot html change in the save as type to html okay now i'll keep body okay so currently i'm not keeping the head because currently it is not required section so what i will do consider i want to consider i have consider i have a paragraph okay for example um i'm paragraph okay now let me text formatting i'm opening this with google chrome now i'm paragraph for example for example if i want to make this paragraph to be bold so how will I do that? I will give an attribute called style and then there is a property called font weight where we can specify the bold. So when you specify that and if you refresh, so this will be changed to paragraph. So what we have done here, we have used a paragraph tag and then we have provided a style. But so there are some predefined elements which will make that job for us for example b b stands for bold so if you write i am paragraph okay i'll give some break here okay if i refresh this see both are same but in the first case we used paragraph and then we used style on top of that but in the second case it's a bold element itself so that means so there are some predefined elements which will make our job which will make our job easier which will make our job easier so similarly there is something called strong so this is another element i'll write a um, strong element okay now if you see okay let me provide some break okay okay i'll provide break here i have to provide the break here okay so now if you see here so this is a strong element this is the strong element and and on the top you have a bold element right so on the browser you you cannot differentiate between a bold and a strong so both are actually same but the usage is different strong defines that that's an important text so similarly we have something called i i stands for italic i stands for italic i am italic text Okay, I'll give some break here. Okay, so this is an italic text. Okay, I have this here. Okay, let me remove this. Oh, 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 what is happening? I didn't save this, I guess. Okay, awesome. So this is an italic text. So similarly, we do have something called EM. So EM 
stands for emphasized text okay so em stands for emphasized text now so if you see here italic and emphasized so both are again same so just like a bold and a strong element italic and an emphasized text both look same on the browser but emphasized is bit important when you compare it with an italic element so so there should be a question arises when to use what when to use italic and when to use emphasized if the text whatever you are mentioning is an important text then keep it in em otherwise just keep it in i now there is something called a mark mark tag right so let me write testing and then mark i'll provide one break here see so this is how it looks so this is a marking element this is a mark element for example you have a paragraph i am working on suresh tech project now let me provide some break this looks like this if you want to mark this particular text so you can use something called mark element mark i just want to mark from here to here i'll mark it as like this so this is called a mark text now there is something called a small so small small element is used to provide a small text see this is smaller let me give some break here so that you can better understand about small okay so this is how it looks like for example if you want to provide a small element in between a paragraph you could use small element now there is something called delete so delete is another element if you want to provides a deleted data for example i want to delete testing okay and this is how it looks like now there is something called insert so what is the use of insert so insert provides an underline so insert is basically an inserted text okay let me check this okay so before that let us break this let me save this and let me open this okay so this is how it looks like so there is an underline below this so there is an underline below texting so this is basically an inserted text and after this there is something called subscript text so subscript text is to provide subscription for example um, you want to write something called h2o so h and then two should be subscribed should so two should 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 two should be in the subscription so i'll write p h now h is fine so now i want two to be in the down so i'll keep two i'll close this and then i'll give o i'll close paragraph right now what will happen this two will come as a subscript text again okay, let me save this and refresh this right so this is how it looks like so if you write it directly like this h2o if you refresh let me provide a break okay it looks like that so it looks like this so we don't want this we want something like this two should be in a subscript text so then in that cases you can use subscript similarly there is something called superscript okay so superscript 
which comes in the top for example if you want to write 3 square 3 I'll write subscript and then 2 and then closing sorry first you have to close subscription and then you are closing paragraph let me provide one break here okay so this is how it looks like 3 square so this is called superscript so now so these are some formatting elements available in HTML so these are some text formatting elements available in HTML so there is no need of styling for these type of elements because they are already styled for us because they are already styled for us okay so these are the available text formatting elements such as bold strong italic emphasize text mark small delete insert subscript and superscript that's it for today thank you so much please do subscribe to so rest